Today, we're going to show you how to make the perfect uh, buffalo wild wings here at home. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients. Uh, we have some organic, uh, pre-marinated uh, drumsticks and flats. Real quick, I'm going to show you the process. We'll go ahead and dive in straight into it. Go ahead and give you some olive oil of your choice. Nice little drizzle as such. Let's go ahead and add a little pepper. Time for some more pepper. I'm gonna head down to pepper. This is my preference. Let's go ahead and add some garlic. Let's go ahead and add a little onion powder. Let's go ahead and add some parsley. Go ahead and add, we're using some buffalo beer batter wing sauce. We're going to do one fourth cup of buttermilk. And now the secret ingredient, some of that Louisiana, Louisiana hot sauce. Don't be afraid to use it. Go ahead and massage this in. Make sure we massage it nice and easy. It smells so good. So once we massage this in, let this chill for about 15 minutes. Massage your back. It's been about 15, 20 minutes. These are nice and uh, room temperature, uh, slight marination. Go ahead and get your uh, quick spray or you can get a olive oil and get a, a, a brush and rub, but we're gonna use just a quick spray olive oil. Go ahead and take a look. We're gonna spray that nice and easy. We just wanna spray our grape so it won't stick. The whole purpose of having a grape on top of a pan is to allow the fat to drip from whatever wings you're using so you can get the nice crisp cook on both sides of your wings. Now we're gonna take each uh, drumstick, we're gonna lay it as such. And you, it's not a particular order that you have to lay them, but just make sure you give them enough space in between. And you don't have to have this drawn out uh, bacon rack, you just want enough separation for the, fit, the, the fat to drop off your flats and your drumsticks. Keep in mind, about 25 minutes in during the baking process, we're gonna re-dip these to obtain as much as maximum flavor as we can. And uh, we'll talk about that shortly. Yeah, check it out. We have our wings coated nice and layered. Uh, you should already have that oven preheated to 400. We're gonna let these cook literally 25 minutes. We're gonna take them out. I want you to keep the batter that we just used. We're gonna rebatter those for another 25. Totally anywhere from that 40 to 45, 50 minute range sweet spot. Let's go ahead and get these in the oven. See you guys in a sec. So guys, we'll give some bonus footage. We're gonna pair some previous cooked kale. We're gonna do some uh, nice, fresh Mexican spicy cornbread. Go ahead and take a look real quick. Uh, I already have some sliced jalapenos. Uh, we de seeded some of them, and I'm gonna keep the seed of some of them because I want somewhat of a kick of a spice. We're gonna put that in there just like that. Um, I'll be using my Easy Quick uh, Ninja. Boom. Boom. Nice and easy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add an egg. Uh, we're gonna be going to add four packs of raw sugar. We're 
we're going to be doing one third cup of buttermilk. As you can see. And we'll be doing our quick and easy uh, jiffy mix. We're definitely being lazy today. Let's go ahead and add our top. Assess that. Good. That's the consistency that we want. I'm gonna put that there. Go. Don't forget to spray your crates. A little olive oil helps with the stickiness. Should be able to make six muffins. Let's go ahead and grab a spoon real quick. Or a knife. <laughs> And there you have it guys uh, oven should be already set for 400 we're gonna leave these in 15 to 20 minutes be sure to check on the rise of the muffins uh, you should start smelling that oil of fresh jalapenos and uh, if you need to have a problem with testing the ratings of the inside of the muffin grab a toothpick and we'll do the toothpick test yeah let's go ahead and check a little real quick it's been about 27 minutes uh, we took them out the oven let's go ahead and recoat them nice little coat again Try to put them on the same spot that we originally got them from. As you can see, you see the whole purpose of the recoating is to get all those flavors in there. It's perfectly fine to use the same batter because we're going to recook them for another 25-30 minutes. So you ain't got to worry about any type of bacteria, raw meat, anything like that. That's totally a myth. Now I wouldn't I would not recommend recoating them and then serving them without uh, some type of extreme heat. Hey guys, we're back ready for the oven. We have recoated. Uh, we're gonna do another 25 minutes. Hey guys, we got our Mexican uh, muffins ready. Let's go ahead and take them out. Hopefully there's no stick. Fingers crossed. Booyah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I am super crunk about these muffins. I can't wait to try them. That's perfect, guys. You're gonna have Mexican cornbread with ooh, crispy wings and kale. Ooh, let's go ahead and cut into one. Oh, man. Guys, oh my God. Ooh, wait. Hey, see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, go ahead and get the post up on this. We are all set to go. Let's go ahead and add a piece of that cornbread to the side. We have our nice heated kale. Let's go ahead and give a generous amount Wings. Go ahead and look at that color. It's all about three, guys. Get in there. Ooh, look at that crust. Give them a generous amount. Guys, I'm about to dig in. Hopefully you enjoyed this recipe as much as I did. It's quick, it's easy, it's effective for any age. 
As always, blessings. See you guys next time.